Tampa is moving quickly to install surveillance video cameras before the RNC convention. These are the types of cameras Michael Paris knows well. We're working on an integration project for the Mass Transit Authority in New York City. Some of the jobs Paris works on are matters of national security. It's why we asked him to read through Tampa's contract with Aware Digital and give us his expert opinion. So they're going to be fairly large, something like this here would be used as an enclosure with a camera in it. Still, Paris says the cameras may go unnoticed, perhaps installed overnight. They'll work, he explained to me, through a wireless mesh network. And from there, they'll stream it to a computer. Eyes feeding video images to a central location in real time. He believes the cameras will be perched well above eye level, and it'll be used to focus in on not just people, but on cars, uh, it would be good for being able to pull background checks off of license tags in real time. Uh, it would be good for identifying vehicles coming and going from the area. Law enforcement will be able to access the video through cell phones and laptops. This is the technology Paris says many people already have at home. And this is uh, going to be six cameras live streaming through the internet. This is the same type of technology they'll be using in Tampa for the law enforcement people when they're in their cars. And that's audio we're hearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tampa has four months to put its cameras up and train officers to use them. Cameras that'll be watching come August when thousands of visitors pour into downtown Tampa. In Tampa, Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.